Hello and welcome to the Friday episode of the Muddy Vape Show. So on this episode, I want to do an update on my Squid Industries double barrel. I had had some issues with my battery door. And I had sent out some emails and reached out on Facebook to the guys over at Squid Industries. And they got back in contact with me and showed concern for the issues that I was having and reassured me that if I had any other issues, uh, any issues in the future, just to get in contact with them and they would take care of it. And that speaks volumes for a company, especially a company that's new uh, to the market or relatively new to the market that, you know, they stand behind their products. Now, before I purchased the double barrel, you know, the reputation that these guys had was had all, has always been great. Um, and I wanted to get this mod. Love the design of the mod. I haven't put it down since I got it. It is it has been my go to mod. I take it everywhere. I actually ordered a tank and an RDA specifically to go on to this mod due to its size. Typically, I run, as you've seen from my other videos, I normally run the Sense Blazer Pro Tank on my Hexome, and this is usually what's in my hand at all times. Well, that has since changed. I have not been able to get this mod out of my hand. I love this mod. And it will probably stay as a device that I use in testing and reviewing of other tanks and atomizers. Um, I just, I can't speak highly enough. And the fact that the guys got back in contact with me, you know, that, that relationship, you know, when, when you reach out to a customer that's having an issue and you reassure them that there's no need for them to worry that you got their back. I mean, that, that just seals the deal. That's what, you know, fortifies that customer company relationship and the guys were great like I said have been loving this mod if you're looking for something that is compact size still has a little heft to it um, I mentioned before, earlier that I'm, I'm not a really super big fan of light mods I know that some some people like a smaller profile and a, and a mod that's that's relatively light I'm kind of opposite of that I like the I like the smaller profile I love the shape of this. I mean, essentially just two batteries. I, I love the shape of it and the size. It still has some some heft to it, some weight to it, and I, I really like the way it feels. And you know, like I said, the two tank, the tank and the atomizer or the RDA that I purchased to put on this tank, both go perfectly. The troll come in. I, I got some bait mail in, and I, I couldn't wait. I had to open up. The stuff that I get, I'm, I'm not super, super good with the whole patience thing and waiting for items. You know, once they come in, to kind of stockpile them to do a video. So yeah, I opened up my troll, my troll V2. I'm actually waiting for a couple custom drip tips. One for this, one for the for the troll, and one custom drip tip to actually go on this Blazer Mini. However, when I got the troll in. Uh, it has a 510 drip tip that comes with it. It's kind of this little metal guy. It got a really good feel to it. It's kind of a stubby um, affair going on there. The original 510 drip tip that comes with the Sense Blazer Mini is kind of this guy. And I'm not I'm not really a super big fan of this kind of shape going on here. So when I opened up the Troll version 2 and found this guy inside and slipped it onto that tank, I think that just looks perfect. I think it, it kind of rounds off and, and fits the tank nicely. And the Sense Blazer Mini, the, the flavor on this guy is great. It, um, you know, is in the same ballpark as the Blazer Pro. So, you know, like I said, or... I've mentioned in other videos, when I go out and about, if the wife and I go out to dinner, if we're going out grocery shopping, uh, you know, I don't like to carry an RDA just because it's inconvenient to, to drip. So I carry a tank. I have a, I have a tank, like I said, the Sense Blazer Pro. Well, my concern was, is on the double barrel, the Sense Blazer Pro is not going to fit. 28, 28 millimeter atomizer was going to look ridiculous on top of this little guy. So I got the min, got the mini put it on here and it's been it's just been spectacular I mean it's just great what what more can you ask for this guy will be in in my 
collection in my arsenal for the foreseeable future. Solidly built, you know, just love it, love it. So, yeah, I've got that going on. I wanted to make sure I got that update out there. And, you know, I told you guys that I would let you know as soon as they contacted me. And one thing to keep in mind, my schedule is, is kind of kind of wonky right now it's kind of off because I'm usually I'm usually up relatively late so if I send out an email I'm sending out emails that are going out you know one two three o'clock in the morning and you know typically of course at those hours businesses aren't going to be open so they're not going to be checking their email so it may take a it may take a day or two extra for someone that I send an email out to to kind of get through that process because like I said it goes out goes out super early so yeah but um loving the double barrel a uh, slight little update on the mad dog by desire so i picked this up on a sale that uh vapor dna was having a little 99 cent sale and really like this single coil tank the only issue that i've had and it's not it's not really so much of an, an issue per se Except for the fact that it's just gone through juice. The capacity of this tank, being that it is, it just goes through juice. I'm constantly refilling, which I, I carry these, I carry these little little bottles here with me, so that it, even with a tank, so that if I'm out and about for an extended period of time and I need to refill, you know, I can just put the the juice in it. But yeah, I've been I've been cooking through some tank, and it may have something to do with the with the build that I have in there. But that was just one thing that I noticed is that it does it does kind of kind of go through the the juice. Not a super big deal, but just something to be aware of that it does go through the juice. Have had no leaking issues uh, whatsoever, and I, I think I, I nailed that the wicking when I put this coil in perfectly because uh, it's been it's been a good performer for me. Um, what else have we done for updates? <laughs> I opened up the Rashomon. Did have this one uh, in the vape mail first part of the week. Part of that sale that that I got the Mad Dog on. So I put this on my Hexome. Threw a couple Claptons in it, and it's been it's been performing. I was about to. I was totally about to hit the button on that. Did I put batteries back in it? I did. <laughs> I'm like, I better check. So, so yeah. But it's been it's been performing great. Yeah, fifteen bucks. And my thing again with that is, is I have a I have a Kennedy twenty five, a Kennedy Ruby twenty five uh, mech mod, and. That was my first experience with the actual Kennedy device, an actual Kennedy RDA setup, and the whole works. And the, the flavor on that is phenomenal, as we're all familiar with with Kennedy. Compared to this, now I'm going to be completely and totally honest with you. Side by side comparison, there's a, there's a complete and total difference in the build deck, but the the flavor for me is. It's, it's right. It's right on point. If if you're if you're a person that wants to have the exact thing, like if you're if you're going to get a Kennedy, and you want to throw down the money to get the Kennedy, the, by all means, get the Kennedy. But if you're wanting a very very similar experience to the Kennedy Airflow, and the and the flavor that you get from the Kennedy, but you don't want to put out the the hundred bucks for the RDA. This guy at 15 bucks is is great. It the flavor is, I mean, you'd be hard pressed, you'd be hard pressed to tell a difference. In my opinion, for me, it's it's hard for me to tell a difference. Which all those things go down to the build that you have on it, if you've got it wicked properly, and the juice that you're using. But for for me, it's it's pretty close. It's it's pretty close. <laughs> really enjoying that as well so what do I have in the works well 
I mentioned in a couple other videos that I wanted to do the Muddy Vapes adventure. Essentially just taking a camera and going to a vape shop and, and kind of talking to the people that work at the vape shop or some of the people that are in the shop, you know, kind of kind of pick their brain and see, you know, what kind of devices that they're that they're looking forward to getting, stuff that may be out there that they're that hasn't come to the market yet, but they're kind of interested in. Kind of get their feeling on some of the stuff that we already have that they're already using you know what their impressions and their opinions are you know a lot of us we come to youtube and we watch the youtube review channels and, and kind of base our purchases somewhat on the products that we see that are reviewed because i mean these guys have access to these items well before we do uh, a lot of times in the beta stage uh, before the final product comes out and you know it kind of allows us to see the item and then you know we go out and try to find that item so that we can use it well i kind of want to talk to people that have gotten those items you know such as such as the rashomon I mean, it's been out for a while and there's tons of reviews that have been done on it but you know i want to talk to people once they've watched the reviews and then gone out and actually purchased the product i want to you know kind of make contact with them and, and get their opinion and, and what they think you know real real world usage of these products so yeah muddy vapes adventures i got the the setup that i'm going to use all together i needed to get a couple adapters so that i could uh, square my audio out uh, scott <laughs> speaking of audio speaking of audio you learn to speak so yeah there were a couple things i wanted to get so that i could make sure i had quality audio when i went out and actually did these videos out in some of the shops so i got all that in so look forward to those um, hopefully hopefully do some footage this weekend possibly if I have time um, and then do some editing and get those videos out of the Muddy Vapes adventures next week I'm thinking maybe some somewhere along those lines but but yeah got that oh also picked up a a cameras to do the live stream so at some point i want to do a live stream and in the future i would like to do a live stream where i can actually get together with um other other vapors and do a show with other vapors now i know we have shows where the you know we have a lot of reviewers to get together and have some conversations and i, I kind of want to go in a in a similar similar route but different not necessarily vape review because I mean as you can see if you've watched any of my videos it's not a typical review channel I don't do a lot of the up close stuff in detail I kind of just give an opinion in my experiences of what's going on with the products that I have and the stuff that I like and it's from a vapors perspective not a reviewers perspective not somebody that's trying to promote promote a product or give you the first look on a product that's not available in the market. It's just my experiences, you know, with the, the items that I have. And I kind of want to, you know, make contact with some other people and do some videos, you know, where we have a discussion, talk about some stuff that's going on, talk about vape, vape advocacy, which is an important thing. There are some more flavor bans in California. You know, and that's, a, that's another thing that's, that's very important that we continue. We've had some good things go in our favor. There was just a medical report released. It's the same report that was done in Europe, and but now released in the States. So, and I'll leave some links to CASA and some of the other organizations, but we definitely need to continue to fight for our rights to vape. The, you know, they're coming for flavors and you know they're still i don't want to go into a big bunch of detail about the way certain juices are advertised or the packaging or any of that type of stuff i mean all that stuff to me should be common sense but yeah we need to make sure that we do at least some small part of you know making sure that we continue to have the right to do something that one has helped us to become healthier two gotten us off of cigarettes and three something that we're probably all passionate about because for me at this point this is this is you know beyond um stopping smoking 
or should I say stop using cigarettes this was beyond that for me this is this is now more of a passion something that I, that I really enjoy um, you know that I really taking part in and doing so yeah want to make sure I got that in there so I think I've covered everything I've hopefully I'll have some some more content like I said later on in our early part of next week with the the muddy vapes adventure and you know kind of see where we're going with the with the channel I've got 12 subscribers now doesn't seem like a lot but it's a lot to me it really means something to me even at that at that number it's, the channel is in its infancy you know we're just in the beginning but I really appreciate the people that have taken the time to subscribe that have, have taken the time to give me some thumbs up and like the videos you know I'm, I'm doing this because I enjoy doing it and like I said I'm passionate about vaping so you know that's been the motivation for doing the videos maybe something that I mentioned in the video is helpful to somebody maybe it's some it inspires somebody to you know strike out and do their own do their own show or, or whatever you know that's I, I just like seeing seeing that type of stuff so yeah if you are visiting the channel and you'd like to please subscribe give me a thumbs up give me a comment below you know give me a comment about the the lighting or the video or, or the audio make sure everything is 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 working well if you have some suggestions by all means put them in the comments um, I'll be more than happy to take a read of those and see if I can work some suggestions in you know maybe make something better like I said it's a complete total learning experience for me just kinda of jumping out there putting myself out there being a little bit vulnerable and uh, just trying to have some fun so yeah and we shall see you on the next one that's the plan thank you <laughs>